Florida State heading to Wake Forest. The Demon Deacons a four and a half point favorite. That line has jumped all over the place. It opened at three, I believe, and jumped up to six and a half on the first day and has come back down. It's now down to four and a half. It, this is, you know, do we get a dead cap bounce from Florida State? That's basically the question here because they did not look good, even regardless of losing the game. Even if they had beaten Jacksonville State 17 to 14, that's still not great. You know, they look good against Notre Dame. We don't know how good Notre Dame is. I, I don't know what to make of this Florida State team. The play call that they ran at the end of the Jacksonville State game, or at least that, that Mike Norvell said that they ran, is not what they actually ran. So Mike Norvell didn't even know what they were running at the end of the game. It's I, I don't know what to make of this team. I don't know if they have lost the locker room at this point. I don't know what to make of the defensive staff. I, I made this line Wake Forest minus three. To start out with, so I had no play early because it, it opened at three. But, man, I I really think that I'm going to take Wake Forest here minus the four and a half. I think I trust Dave Clawson and the more consistent team over the more volatile team, even if they are the less talented team. I like Sam Hartman. I like what they're doing. I mean, they're averaging, I think, like eight yards a play right now. I, I'll take Dave Clawson. Give me, give me Wake minus four and a half. So it's been a lot of years making fun of the ACC because they've basically been Clemson and trash, okay? And, and that's the truth. This year is very different. I think Clemson is worse than Clemson may have been in the last, I don't know, seven years. But I think the rest of the conference is getting pretty good, okay? I think this Wake Forest team can be good. I like Boston College. I, well, I liked them before quarterback went out. I like I like NC State, even though they lost to NC State. I like I like like the middle level of this conference a lot better than I have. I think Wake Forest is, is, is a lot better than they've been in the past. And I think they're overall just a better team than, than Florida State right now. Yeah, yeah, I, I really think so. I, I am worried that this could be a disastrous kind of season for Florida State. It, when, you get, when you get in a hole with your offensive line, it takes years to build back out of that thing. You can't just get in transfers and all that. When you have completely mismanaged it over three different coaching staffs now, there's almost no way to fix it. So I'm I'm curious what's going to happen here, but you know, you like me, we're gonna we're gonna both ride Wake Forest minus the four and a half. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.